Yaradwa is not corrupt. He lived a simple life, according to his wife, Turai. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. About 13 years after the death of President Omaru Musa Yaradwa, his wife Hadiya Turai Yaradwa has spoken on life after her husband's death, saying the late Yaradwa was a very simple man who neither who was neither corrupt nor profligate. Turai spoke in an interview with the BBC House of Service, monitored by a correspondent in Kaduna on Sunday. Commenting on how much she missed her late husband, the former first lady said, Praise be to Allah, I do not feel anything. I am used to it. I think about him every day. Every day seems like any other day. The only difference is that today, people gather to pray for him, eulogize him, and I am happy. I thank them. On what she could remember, the day the former president Charlie died, she said, and I quote, I was fasting on that day. In fact, I've been fasting non-stop from when he fell ill. Even after he died, I did not stop. So when it was time for me to break my fast, he was lying down, looking at me. I felt he does not wanted me to leave. I told him I was going to break my fast. He then shook his head and I left. I was at a court and met him struggling with his breath. That moment still lingers in my mind. I even queried myself on why I left to break my fast. I should have stayed. Ask of the condition she found herself after. She explained that. I'm a Muslim. I know life and death are realities. I know Allah gives and takes life. So what can I do? I can only thank Allah who gave me and had taken away. I cannot be angry with him for taking his life. Praise be to Allah. Speaking about her adult's life, his character, that was not known to many, she said, he was simple. He was not carried away by worldly things. For example, he can be using the resource continuously until the strap gets broken into two. Unless, if I see it, he will continue to use it like that. He was a very simple person who did not attach importance to worldly things, even leadership. Allah did say he would be, but he wasn't that ambitious about it. On the happy moment with him, she said, our marriage was full of happiness. In fact, people were saying they had never seen a kind of relationship. I was like a new bride every day. That was why he always returns home, straight from the office. Well, um, Omo, this is what I'm talking about. When I see, you know, our politicians today, not just politicians, see people struggle for everything and yet they do not struggle to leave a good legacy. Yeah, I don't person will be saying the late president, Musa Yaradwa, is someone who is being eulogized. They are remembering on the day he died. Look at the kind of things they have to say about him even 13 years ago. Even 13 years ago. What does that tell us? Nobody's talking about the kind of expensive cars. Nobody's talking about the money he has or had. Nobody's talking about, no, those things are really, really irrelevant. What people are talking about is what they miss about him. Have you? His legacy. That is what you are supposed to be doing. He should give us an insight to be very sincere. He should. He should give us an insight on how we should, we should detach ourselves. People will be saying they good day for leadership position. They good take, take, take like say tomorrow, no day. I keep asking myself this question. How? How? How are, how are they managed? How are they able to manage it? How are they able to, you know, manage it to the extent that, you know, <laughs> manage it to the extent that, how, as in how? How then don't, they don't feel the urge to, you know, this a good name is better than riches. You know, they bother them at all. Nigeria Masi should declare the day he died the public holiday, and I'm not talking of a government doing this because the government will extend its favor to all the thieves and murderers that have occupied the daughter's position. My dear, I don't think it's really necessary. I don't think it is, if you ask me. Is, 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 is it really necessary? Wherever, however his name is being spoken about, Sirajwa will always be fondly remembered as the president who came in and that short time Nigeria, it is it, during its time, it, the economy boom. 
I did tell you things happen. Uh uh-uh, uh, for the first time we win. Maybe that's why we'll be saying enter, then you win a world cup. I mean, uh, when you will look at enter, the man had carry better than come for the country. I did tell you. I did say the man look completely as in income like this. Come with Nigeria well. I see him to pose. I did tell you. Things for no dear city. Gerald is a good man. He did good work for Nigeria and would never be forgotten. I tell you. I tell you, he's the one not another that he was. He did never, he was never, you know, had he, he never had the same mentality that the like the other will have today. He never had the same. Even in animal things, we bear witness that Omar Oyeraja was a symbol of emulation and a shocking image to part leaders. I did tell you. Seeing the history of Nigeria, the best president ever produced. Others are criminals. I do not want to mention them. If you're a true Nigerian, you should know what I'm saying. Truly, Yorada has been the vice president so far since the independence of Nigeria. What on earth will people like that die just like that? And then the wicked leaders in the nation continue to live. My dear, now this same way you act, though you talk now, then they shock me pass. Good people do not last. I don't know why. They come, they leave their prints in the sands of time. Eh? And they just go. And you keep asking yourself. Meanwhile, there are people who will say you will be surprised if, the, if you hear those people steal their life. He's a legend who will forever remember him. He lays a good example of leadership. May so continue to rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Not just in leadership. Yadwa's life was worthy of emulation. He had good characters that when you look back at, you say, no, this thing, no, 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 this man. Okay. God has granted us a good leader, but tribe and religion have always divided us. So to put that aside, no good thing will come out of Nigeria. As you can see, different people from different tribes and religions are saying great and good things about Umar Yadwa, even after he's long dead. This is how it should be. We should choose a political leader based on competence, capacity, and character, and not chosen based on religion or tribe. God has given us P2B, but some has rejected him. <laughs> okay, well, one thing, this, anytime death is being spoken about, you remember that you are indebted to the earth. <laughs> one day, too, you go reach person turn, person go, you know, go. So, as we are going... One of the things that you should be thinking about is which legacy you will leave. No matter how short your life could be or personal life could be, no matter how short or how long you live, which legacy are you going to be fondly remembered for? Are you going to be remembered, you know, uh, 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 as someone who was humble or rather someone who, you know, now, now we could choose and decide for ourselves. I just hope you get to choose right wisely. All right, so on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.